to Zeke's lunchbox. It is week two of the April art challenge. This is your first video here. We are doing an April art challenge over on Instagram and on Facebook. We have a Facebook group where we can chat and submit all of our artworks. Link in description below. But before I go on about that, let's just backtrack for a second. If this is your first time here. I am doing an April art challenge. Here is the prompt for every day in April, and I'm attempting to pretty much draw every single day. It's been a little bit hard to manage, but if you want to catch up with everything, there are two videos that you can watch. Uh, one is the April announcement, and then the second video is week one if you want to catch up with it all. But yeah, this is week two. Week two is centered around textures so uh today is i believe leaves yeah and uh i think this one's gonna be a little challenging the first couple of days in week two are going to be okay because i'm kind of used to drawing a lot of those things at the end of the week that's when um some textures are going to be a little bit harder for me. So a little bit of a challenge, we're kind of ramping up towards some more tricky things. Now, if you watched the video last week, I was having trouble time managing. So I uh, have been batching some artwork and yesterday I was sneaky and I drew my piece already. So I'm like a little ahead, but not really. I'm not sure if I'm gonna post every single day on Instagram, because I just don't think it's sustainable. I know this is part of the challenge, Challenge, but it's really really starting to get hard because it's taking away so much time from everything else I need to work on but today I'm going to draw the next two days so just trying to get ahead and be a little bit more efficient with my time <laughs> let's get into week two of the April art challenge before we head into it <laughs> make sure you like and subscribe as well so you can see all the other art stuff we've been working on and also so you can see the following weeks of this April art challenge I'm trying to get lots of content out to you guys while we are in Quaza. we're just trying to make as much art and content as possible for your peepers so make sure you subscribe and like let's get the video up to 500 likes I'm just trying to keep it nice and neat nice solid chunk of 500 likes so remember to like the video because it helps you girl out and uh let's get into some art making hello everybody it's day nine which means it's the second day of week two i was organized and i drew my day eight prompt which was leaves I did that a couple of days ago so I'm a little ahead but I haven't really started week two today's prompt is floral and I'm hoping to get today's prompt and tomorrow's prompt done so I'm just drawing a couple of flowers now um I really don't like this part so I'm gonna cover it and I'm just gonna doodle this morning and then same old same old pretty much let's get to it Good morning, everybody. It's Good Friday and I'm feeling pretty lazy or I'm trying to have like a proper weekend. I probably won't take the four days off because that's just way too much time. <laughs> that being said, I'm still gonna draw today. Today is day 10, which means it's sky. And then tomorrow I think it's rocks. So either way, I started floral yesterday or a couple of days ago. So I'm gonna finish that one, do sky and then do rocks. Basically do a whole spread of all three of those prompts. So then I'll be caught up. Yeah, I'm just gonna draw in front of the couch with Rel and have a quote unquote lazy one. <laughs> Pretty much doing the exact same thing, but when I change from sitting at my desk to sitting on the couch, it really changes my mindset and I feel like I'm relaxing, even though I'm doing the exact same task. Anyway, let's do that.
All right, everyone. So this is prompt nine and prompt 10. So floral and sky. I think both of them, I don't know, are kind of underdeveloped, but I just wanted to get some ideas out there. This one basically just started off as some flower studies and it just, uh, <laughs> I felt like I needed to whip out the gouache to give the flowers a lot more depth, but I just... I'm not feeling it to be quite honest. What I am feeling is I'll probably use more angles like this in my tarot deck for the minor arcana. I've got some plans to just do like a bunch of portrait studies, but I will chat about that <laughs> in another video. This one kind of feels like quasi storm fan art, which I quite like. Again, I think both of them are kind of underbaked, but Anyway, that's not the point of the challenge. It's just about getting ideas out. I'm just trying to do them as quick as possible. I really don't want to spend more time on them. Here I'm going to do prompt 11, which is, I believe, rocks. Rocks have always been like a soft spot. <laughs> not a soft spot, but like a, a point of contention for me. I find all dry, jaggedy texture very hard to draw here. This one I started off doing a study, but... I just, I can't do any of these studies without doing a portrait in it. I just feel like it elevates it so much more. And now this is like become weird Marge Simpson fan art, <laughs> which I quite like actually. I think it's a cool concept. Then here I was trying to do some rocks as well. Yeah. Look, I definitely need to study my elements a lot more. I just need to study everything a lot more. But yeah, here I'm thinking of doing like a portrait with some like rock goggles. And then day 9, 10 and 11 are done. <laughs> up on everything i think later on today i may try and just attempt to power out a couple more prompts maybe for day uh 12 and 13 wouldn't it be great if i could just do all three so 12 13 14 and then i think i'm done for the week right um hang on four five six seven yeah yeah, I'm going to try and do um, the other three prompts, I think, today. And then, I don't know, I'll be heaps ahead. Um, I'm just finding that I'm so behind with tarot stuff. And I want to be able to do two cards every month. So because of this, uh, it has been slowed down quite a bit. Sidetrack. I'm working on a card at the moment for the tarot project, but I'm really not inspired to work on it at all and I think I just need to work on the cards that I am really inspired by there's just one that I really really want to get cracking on so yeah I'm just trying to like squish and condense my time as much as possible but let's chat about the the designs here I've chatted about these two already but day 11 is rocks I think like I mentioned before, I've been finding it very hard to do rocks. I find that texture just really, I don't know why, but I just really struggle with it. I think these are starting to get better. Like I'm really starting to understand rocks a lot more. By the way, there's really loud construction next door. So I'm so sorry if you can hear that. And I do think these two here, I may use these portraits again for the tarot project for the Minor Arcana. I just think, like I said, that's for a different video. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, it's Saturday currently, so uh, I'm just gonna keep drawing for the rest of the day and see how far I get. I'm gonna aim for the three, but I, I don't know how that's gonna go. I like the idea of like wet and fluffy being right next to each other. I just think those two textures, they're like polar opposites of one another. So that's going to be really fun to play with. I think I'm going to stick with my theme of just doing girls this week with the element around them. I think it's been adding some difference to the portraits and adding like a theme. I don't know. I'm liking the experimentation of working with textures and portraits at the moment so I think I'm just going to continue with that because for this week it is texture week so doing girls and then like playing around with textured themes has been a fun little design experiment so I'm gonna have to think about that one.
Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday, which means it's Easter, and it's also day... Oh, gosh. Why do I never know the date? It's the 12th of April. So the 12th of April means that the prompt for today is wet, um, which I did last night. And I know I said last night, I was like, I'll draw all three. That's a good idea. But as soon as it got dark, I'm like, mm, I don't think so. Hey, at least I still, yesterday I drew three prompts. So I feel like I'm back on track. Today we're gonna get ahead and then I will have painted all the prompts for the week. Uh, so a bit of an ongoing theme that I've had for all of the prompts has been doing portraits and trying to see how I can abstract them. Sorry, not abstract, obscure them. I mean, I'm getting a little mixed up because now it's starting to devolve into a de abstraction with the latest piece that I did. It's been really fun doing this challenge as a design exercise to see like how I can mix a portrait with an element. Seeing how a portrait can be obstructed by leaves, rocks. I think all of those have been things that I've been wanting to play around with with the minor arcana. So it's like really good practice for me to come up with some stuff for the minor arcana in tarot. I know I keep talking about that in this video because it's really been on my mind this week. And also I watched a movie last night, which I've been meaning to watch for literally forever, uh, called Holy Mountain. The tarot will teach you how to create a soul. The director, and I'm just gonna call him art, an artist visionaire, he is really into tarot cards and just seeing all the ways that he's used tarot cards symbols and imagery in his films has been really inspiring and I'm really glad I finally watched that movie to see I don't know the effects of tarot in people's work yeah sorry I keep talking about tarot I know that's not the subject for this but you know all the work overlap so it's kind of difficult to not talk about it because all of this stuff that I work on here is practice for the bigger work. It's a place for me to get ideas out and they always look really different from my brain to the paper. So yeah, having practice with those portraits for Minor Arcana has been really interesting and it's nice finally seeing like the ideas and concepts that I've been wanting to play around with finally on paper so I can then develop them a little bit further. So today's prompt done, tick. Tomorrow's prompt is fluffy and then the next one is fabric. So I'm going to attempt to draw both of those today and finish off finish off this spread and then yeah we'll uh, we'll check in after that. you guys day not day week two is done gosh I took way too long with doing these two today but that's how it goes sometimes you know um because it's Sunday and I guess also because it's Easter I just wanted to not be rushed in any way and just laze about I guess I'm kind of shocked that I like after a day of like not looking at this one I think that this piece here is actually like I don't know there's something really intriguing about it and I mean like I said earlier in the day I'm going to try and explore this idea a little bit more this one here I don't know if you guys remember but in week one I was like getting really sick of mark making because it reminded me of my uni days and doing fashion. This drawing right now has really taken me back to my fashion days. Don't particularly like this one, but I think 
mostly because it does remind me of fashion stuff and I find all of that really cold and um, I don't know, weirdly pretentious. I don't know. I didn't want to do an animal because I'm trying to just do portraits and people. Mostly I'm just trying to do girls this week and seeing how, you know, that can kind of come about. So searching for ages for some good reference photos of fluffy jacket and in the end I was just like, oh, I'll just go with like a standard fluffy jacket. The fabric one, kind of same thing. I drew out a a totally different piece. I drew out another woman with like this like really pleated, over exaggerated uh, suit. And as soon as I saw both of them together, I'm like, ugh, both way, 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 way too fashiony. So I kind of like this piece here and this piece really work together. Uh, yeah, they're kind of like a nice little set. Let's just get her out of the way. But they kind of work well together. I think I really need to practice my fabric a lot more. I still think like I can do it but I'm not thriving. It's the same with like fur, fluffy textures with watercolor. I don't feel like I'm thriving with that either. But yeah, you guys, we're done. Uh, let's go to the outro. <laughs> Ooh, all right, everyone. Week two. Ding. construction for once. All right, so final thoughts on week two wrapping up. Um, I'm really losing steam. That is definitely my major hurdle. I'd love to know how you guys are going. How did you find this week? I'm seeing a lot of people were finding week two quite difficult. It was difficult for me as well. Learning lots of different textures is really difficult. This challenge has been very humbling. I've been often reliant on portraits to elevate a prompt and make it interesting. Yeah, I find all of it just really challenging and humbling and the challenge has been a really good reminder for me to focus on all of my weak spots. Uh, next week though is lighting. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I don't know if you guys want me to continue doing a video per week. Spoiler for next week, I haven't started and we're already halfway through. I may be doing a video where I just try and do all of the prompts in like one day. <laughs> Let me know if you guys want that. Let me know if um, you'd prefer me to still just document everything vlog style uh, in week three and week four, or if you want me to combine it in like one big mega video. Don't know, you let me know. And uh, yeah, you guys, we're done. We're halfway through. Hey, that's pretty exciting. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna continue with the steam of it all. I think a lot of people have started to get really frustrated and have dropped off with it, which is totally understandable. It's called a challenge for a reason. If you guys want to continue the conversation, head over to my Facebook group. Uh, and this is the password here. Link in description if you want to join that. Head over to my Instagram if you want to see all the final artworks photographed nicely. And uh, I'm also sharing a bunch of other work from you guys. So keep sharing, keep it up. Um, we are halfway through, so that means we can still continue and do this. Before you head out, two things. If you want to support my art and my channel, you can head over to my Patreon. Next month I'm switching it up to one single tier. I will have an update video for you guys explaining all of that, but just so you know what is currently on my Patreon will be changing soon. And then uh, if you want to grab some merchandise for yourself or a lovely art print, I know a lot of people have been rearranging and uh, changing up their spaces, so if you want me to be along in that space, you can head over to my website and shop at zekeslunchbox.com. Whoa. You guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, 500 likes for the goose, okay? If you don't like this video, it means you don't like go geeses, gooses. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Catch you later. Bye. Bye.